by the time we reach Karanda, we will have travelled through 15 tunnels, over 55 bridges, around 98 curves and through 153 cuttings. We will soon enter a 180 degree turn called Jangara Loop, which is also known as Horseshoe Bend. This curve was built up above the surrounding terrain to allow trains to build speed for the ascent ahead. For photo enthusiasts, as we go into Jangara Loop from the right-hand side of the train, you will have a great photo opportunity of the front or rear of the train as we make our way around the loop. For your safety, please do not place any part of your body outside of the carriage doors or windows. Two workers died in accidents during the construction of this railway. It is rumoured that even more men perished from disease, snake bite and other causes. suburb of Kamaranga below us where John Robb established his base camp. Mules and pack horses were used to carry supplies up steep slopes to the many work sites. Over time the base camp became a bustling settlement. By 1888 it even had its own brewery turning out over 2,000 gallons of ale a week the most unusual railway bridges in the world. This bridge is the tightest curve on the Karanda Range. It is built on an 80 metre radius and provides a spectacular view of the famous Stony Creek Fall. As we approach the bridge, look to the right for a great photo of the bridge, then quickly look across to the left for another great photo of the waterfall. Largest cutting along this line. This was the most difficult section for the workers to excavate. Men were suspended down by ropes to dig away the cutting. However, the rock face was unstable and as the men made progress, the slope would slip and work would be lost. John Robb had his men dig well into the rock face until a solid foundation could be found. This created the distinctive scar that is a landmark today. As we leave Stony Creek Gorge and enter Barren Gorge, you will notice magnificent views towards Cairns and the coast.
Thank you, thank you. I caught my coin, but look at this.